Hi guys, welcome to the Art Word Lounge with me, Amanya. Today I'm making a uh, body butter, and it's going to be a mixture of different oils, jojoba, coconut oil, um, vitamin E oil, my homemade or DIY made orange oil, um, uh, and but the, the base of it is shea butter and coconut milk. So it's going to be really, really good. It's a great, it's good for your skin, for your hair. Um, you know, yeah, so please stay tuned for that and please don't forget to, to subscribe to the video if you like, guys like what I'm trying to do here. Um, I'm a little, I, I, I mix it up, I cook, I, I'm not going to be doing hair videos, there's too many hair videos out there, but that's something else I can incorporate too. Um, and of course my poetry, which I haven't been doing lately, I do know that, it's just been so much with the move out here and you know trying to establish myself and trying to get myself back to the to the way or not even back but on my new journey as I'd like to say it so anyway I don't know where that rant came from but anyway get into the video thank you all right hi welcome to the art word lounge with me Amanya today I am making a cocoa cocoa coconut milk whipped butter for the skin. It's a homemade lotion, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's what I'm making today. So we're going to be using a coconut milk and a little bit of coconut oil. Not a lot of this because I don't really want it oily. Um, shea butter that I picked up. Uh, I usually like the yellow shea butter, but I wanted to try the white. So white shea butter nice little um, this I can make a couple of set, sets of um, uh, cream with this so this is gonna last me a long time and then I'm gonna be putting a couple of different oils jojoba oil cocoa butter oil arrogant oil and vitamin E oil to keep it all together and then I'm gonna put a little bit of my homemade this is another DIY this is orange oil for a little bit of mm, aroma so to speak okay so we're gonna get started here and first I want to whip up the, the, the coconut milk okay so we're gonna just open it up this see I'm gonna get rid of some of that liquid and by the way this has been sitting in the fridge I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks now so it's just been sitting in the fridge for you know about two weeks now but you don't have to do that you can just do it overnight just so that the milk can harden okay I want to get most of this liquid out. And don't throw away the milk now. Don't throw that away because guess what? I'm going to cook this with some rice. Coconut rice. Best way to make rice. And check out this bowl. Picked it up at my handy dandy Salvation Army. Sonoma. Huh? Check it out. I think I got it on the half day. About two dollars. Beautiful bowl, right? Can't be bad. All right. Actually, I think I'm gonna use this bowl instead. Same thing. IKEA, local Salvation Army. I think that was two dollars too. Just pouring it in. up here
Okay, so it's been whipped up. So you can see it here. So you can tell now. Can you tell? It's become uh, not as loose as before. Yeah. So I've been whipping it up now for about uh, five minutes. So now what I'd like to do is add in a little bit of coconut oil. Okay. Now I'm going to whip it some more. to melt some of the shea butter and on a on the stove because it was really giving me a hard time melting and whipping it up so I just put a little bit on the stove to, to warm it up and here's what how we're looking so far it's whipping up very good see that <laughs> because that's where the, the whip part comes in. I just want to soften it a little. Okay, so now I'm just going to put it right in here. And then we're going to whip some more. Some of that 
coconut water coming out of there. See? Make sure you get all that water out. Because it's going to come to the surface. And just dump it out. That's my phone ringing. If y'all can hear it. Ooh, good. Get all that liquid out. I think I got it. Look at that. It's all that. Now, I want to add in my oils. Okay? So, this is our cocoa butter oil. And these are not essential oils. And this thing, I can put it on my hair. And again, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just eyeball. That's how I do. And so that was coconut. No, that was cocoa butter. Here's the argan oil. So all of these oils are good for your skin and they're good for your hair. So some argan oil. Some jojoba. Very good for skin and hair. Everything I'm putting in here. Because this could be both. I will use it as both. Both as hair and skin. And then the vitamin E oil to hold it all together. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my orange oil that I, I made. And I'll probably make a video on how to make your own oils. And this came from fresh oranges, the zest. You let it sit in a jar for a couple of weeks and then you strain it. There you go, oil. All right, we're going to whip up a little bit more. <laughs> natural so your natural hair needs a lot of moisture and oils and this is a great 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 thing for you for your hair you natural girls out there because I know how it is I've been natural for about three years now
came out. It's killing me now. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, the sun, really, sun. Okay. So I'm just going to put it in my jar. This is just something I had cream in before. Oh, I got a little extra. I'm not throwing none of this out. I'm going to find me another little jar and put it in. So there it is. I guess I'll just try it a little. It smells wonderful. And it's so good for my skin. It's, and it's good for everywhere, girl. Everywhere, everywhere. See? Ta-da! That's it. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye-bye.